We are celebrating 70 years of News Channel 11 here in Greenville. We are at the beautiful and historic General Morgan Inn. Yeah, fantastic. Beautiful place right here in the heart of Main Street, Greenville. This building has been here since 1790 and serves as an iconic spot here in Greenville. John Jenko takes a closer look at what makes this building so special. The General Morgan Inn, the crown jewel of downtown Greenville, is where history and modern amenities converge. It has a very unique design. Uh, the architecture that we have here is unlike anything else that you'll really see in town. Guests are welcomed in to a taste of luxury. The first thing you'll see is a grand lobby. The chandeliers that are in the lobby were actually recreated to have that 1880s feel. They were um, shipped in from New York um, and the canopy actually is hand painted. As for the name, that comes from John Hunt Morgan. The Confederate general killed by Union troops in what is now the inn's back parking lot. The General Morgan Inn of today was built up over the years, dating all the way back to Greenville's railroad boom. It all started in the 1880s when Colonel John Dowdy built the Grand Central Hotel. The Dowdy family really wanted to make this a central location for celebrations, activities. Um, there really wasn't anything else like it at the time. Neighboring buildings became part of the Grand Central, which became the Brumley Hotel after Dowdy died. In the 40s, the General Morgan room now occupied by Brumley's restaurant and lounge opened on the main floor. Operations continued up to the 1980s when downtown Greenville entered a period of decline. The hotel shut down and fell into disrepair until the community came together to bring it back in the 90s. The town of Greenville, the Main Street program really came together and um, bought the hotel and with the health of Scott and I Swanger, he eventually took over and made it what it is today. Now guests are welcome to comfortable rooms and hospitality. Longtime employees say they are happy Happy to talk with guests and continue the hotel's tradition as a place of gathering. Even your ordinary people have extraordinary stories and getting to share those and getting to be a part of those even for a minute is always amazing. As the hotel has seen its rebirth, so too has much of downtown Greenville. I think it's really been a leader in the revitalization project here in downtown. You know, we had redone our building in 1996, but you can see Depot Street's done a complete 180. In Greenville, John Jenko, News Channel 11.